वेलकम टू लेक्चर टू इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट सबसेट एंड इट्स टाइप वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज अ सबसेट सपोज आई हैव अ सेट ए अ सिंगल टन सेट विच हैज दिस एलिमेंट एंड वन मोर सेट बी विच हैज एलिमेंट वन टू थ्री सो कैन आई से एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ सेट ए इज प्रेजेंट इन बी येस दिस इज द एलिमेंट विच इज प्रेजेंट इन बी देर फोर ए इज नोन एज सब सेट ऑफ बी ओके वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ सबसेट इफ एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ ए इज प्रेजेंट इन द सेट बी देन ए इज कॉल्ड एज सबसेट ऑफ बी फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल आई विल टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल लेट अस से सेट ए हैज एलिमेंट वन कॉमा टू एंड सेट बी हैज एलिमेंट वन कॉमा टू देन कैन आई से ए इज अ सबसेट ऑफ बी डेफिनेटली सर बिकॉज एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ सेट ए इज प्रेजेंट इन बी चेक इट आउट वन कॉमा टू यर ऑल्सो वन कॉमा टू सो एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ ए इज देर इन बी देर फॉर ए इज नोन एज सबसेट ऑफ बी डू वी हैव सम सिम्बल फॉर सबसेट डेफिनेटली वी हैव अ सिम्बल दिस सिम्बल इज नोन एज सब सेट देर फॉर इन बोथ द एग्जाम्पल वी कैन राइट इन दिस वे दैट ए इज सब सेट ऑफ बी इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग द इंग्लिश फॉर्मेट वी कैन सिंपली यूज दिस सिम्बल ओके दिस सिम्बल इज नथिंग बट सब सेट सिम्बल ओके नाउ देर इज वन डाउट द डाउट इज कैन आई से फॉर द एग्जाम्पल वन बी इज अ सबसेट ऑफ ए यूज द डेफिनेशन वॉट इज अ सबसेट दैट एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ एल एच एस शुड बी प्रेजेंट इन द आर एच एस इफ दैट इज द केस देन एल एच एस इज सबसेट ऑफ आर एच एस राइट सो हियर वी कैन सी दैट एलिमेंट्स आर वन टू थ्री बट हियर द एलिमेंट इज ओनली वन देर फोर एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ बी इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन ए देर फोर बी इज नॉट द सबसेट ऑफ ए अंडरस्टूड इफ येस देन tell me for this example too can i say b subset of a yes sir because every element of b is present in a therefore b is subset of a understood so this was a very basic uh, definition which you should understand now uh, let us go to some key points first note a is subset of b is represented like this what if a is not subset of b then subset and then slant line this is not a subset okay so a is not a subset of b this is the symbol for an example a is a singleton set and b is this set 2 comma 3 then every element of a is not a present in b therefore a is not subset of b in fact if you have this example suppose this is example 1 i have one more example a is equal to 1 2 and b is equal to 2 3 now you might say oh element of a is there in b so can i say subset of b no here also a is not a subset of b because every element of a is not present in b definition says every element not some element or one element every element of a should be there in the b then only a is subset of b understood if yes let us go to the note 2 every set a is subset of itself which means every set is a subset of itself suppose i have a set which is 1 2 3 can i say this set is a subset of itself definitely use the definition and check every element of lhs is a present in rhs therefore lhs is subset of rhs hence every set is a subset of itself okay coming to the third point null set which is phi is subset of any set suppose i have a set a which is 1 2 if i ask you how you made first you kept the empty brackets and then you entered the element 1 comma 2 so started with the empty bracket and then you put the elements therefore this empty bracket which is nothing but null set is subset of a okay remember that phi which is nothing but empty brackets so empty brackets are always a subset of any set this is what i have written here understood that was your third key point so these are very famous and important points every set is a subset of itself null set is subset of any set coming to next point which are nothing but kind of mathematics relation if a is subset of b and b is subset of c so can you see a connect a talks to b b talks to c so a can now talk to c so a is a subset of c okay a was subset of b and b was subset of c so a is now subset of c it's like uh, 
suppose you are this person then you have a father and then his father has a father right then you are subset to your father and your father is subset to your grandfather therefore you are a subset of grandfather understanding you your father is above you and above that grandfather so if you are subset of this he is subset of grandfather then you are also a subset of grandfather understanding if yes then we can go to the next point next point is if a is equal to b then definitely we can say a is subset of b and b is also subset of a for an example suppose i have a is equal to 1 2 3 4 4 and b is also equal to 1 2 3 4 4 therefore they are equal and uh, we can say that every element of a is present in b so a is subset of b also the vice versa every element of b is present in a therefore b is subset of a understood let us go to the next point which is types of set we have only five type super set proper subset universal set trivial non trivial set and power set do not worry very easy let us go one by one first point is super set now super it's like my father is a superstar my mother is super mom you always say that why because they have more skills than you or maybe more knowledge than you same goes here if a is subset of b then b is known as super set of a let me write in this way this is you which has only uh, studied up till let us say 10th standard right and then uh, your mother is this which has studied up till 12th standard okay 10th then 11th and 12th then can i say that a is a subset of b because every element of a is a present in b therefore a is subset of b <coughs> and because b has more element than you therefore b is known as super set of a now see carefully this symbol of super set is kind of reverse form of subset right here we say a is subset of b and here we say b is super set of a so the symbol is kind of reverse and this is very uh, close to your family culture that you are subset of your father and father is super set of you correct in terms of knowledge in terms of power in terms of money everything so you are subset of father but father is super set compared to you same story here coming to the next point proper subset so there is a very minor difference between a subset and a proper subset what is the difference definition says if a is subset of b but a is not equal to b in that case we say that a is proper subset of b is proper subset of b so the symbol of proper subset is like this what was the symbol of subset let me write it here that is a note for you the symbol of subset was like this correct whereas the symbol of proper subset is like this what is the difference here a can be equal to b can be not necessarily but here a should not be equal to b okay here may or may not be but here definitely they are not equal understood if understood that is what i have written here that if a is subset of b and a is not equal to b then a is proper subset of b okay for an example a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 comma 2 so we can say that every element of a is present in b so a is subset of b and also a is not equal to b then only a is proper subset of b what if sir ji i have this example that a is equal to 1 2 and b is equal to 2 1 can i say that a is a proper subset of b no i cannot say why because order doesn't matter therefore a and b are same and here only if a and b are same not a proper subset okay whereas we can use the definition also that yes a is subset of b this thing is valid but this thing is not valid therefore not a proper subset understood to become proper subset two condition first you have to be a subset and second both the set should not be same that's all so this was a very key note about the symbol also you have to be very careful in the competitive exam subset has equal sign proper subset do not have the equal sign 
understood let us go to the third type which is universal set it is the big boss it's like your grandfather the big boss so symbol is u universal starts with u so u symbol example suppose i have a set 1 2 3 4 5 and from this i am telling you the first three number a is what the first three number so 1 2 3 b is what only the first number so if i see a and b then a and b are made from universal set like you and your father are made from the grandfather so grandfather is the universal set so a and b is actually subset of u so u is known as the universal set understood every element of a is present in u every element of b is present in u so u is like god you are the universe universal set okay now let us go to the next type which is trivial and non trivial set but before understanding this topic let us understand power set first then it would be easy so what is a power set for that i have to go back to the basics suppose i have a set a and a set b if every element of a is present in b then we call a as the subset of b and b is known as the super set of a what if i gave you b and i ask you can you find all the possible a's which means here all the sets would be subset of b so can you figure it out all the possible sets if i gave you the b which is nothing but the super set i gave you the super set figure it out all the possible number of subsets this is the topic of power set understanding what is the idea in the power set okay so here you can see that i have gave you the b which is nothing but the super set b is what it has elements a comma b comma c now can you find all the possible subset this is given you have to find all the possible subset so is there any formula so that we can figure it out the number of subset that we can create and we uh, we are aware that we are not missing out on any set yes there is a formula the formula is 2 to the power n where n is number of elements in the super set so how many elements 1 2 3 so substitute here 2 to the power 3 eight possible number of subsets can be created from this super set let us create that so solution first i will say that null is every time the subset of any set so one set is this null set then we have one one element subset a one element then b then c that's all now you can't make any more one one element singleton set this is all the single set singleton set which is possible now comes the double element set so a comma b don't say b comma a because order don't make any significant difference so order doesn't matter in the set so we cannot say b comma a then what we can say here b comma c definitely we can also say a comma c so two two element sets are also done no more combinations are possible here then we have three three element which is nothing but a comma b comma c that's all please count that uh, how many number of subsets you have created from this super set b 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i told you n equal to 3 to the power 3 8 possible subset would be created now all this subset all this subset is actually known as the power set it is known as power set of a also represented as p of a what is p of a power set of a which is all the number of subset and what is the formula the formula is 2 to the power n where n is the number of elements in a okay here i should not say a because we have considered the matrix as b so power set of b symbol would be p of b and uh, the formula is 2 to the power n to figure it out how many number of subset can be created from the super set right so here we are going to say therefore the number of subsets number of subset is equal to 2 to the power 3 which was 8 understood and you can again check as per the definition phi is the subset of b because every element of the phi is present in b similarly every element of this set is present in this every element of this set is present in this so you can do the reverse definition format and you would be satisfied that yes 
all this is subset of b therefore the number of uh, subsets which can be created from b was 8 understood the power set if understood the power set now come to the fourth type trivial and non trivial set suppose i have a set a which is 1, 2 then subset of a are what now you know very well how to get the subset so first thing is single single player so 5 and then we have 1 and then we have 2 then two two players so only one possible combination 1 comma 2 correct and you can also check by the formula that number of subsets of a is 2 to the power n n was how much n were 2 so four subset you should get and yes we got four subset now focus carefully now focus carefully this null set and the the a set itself right the null set and the a set itself those are phi and itself set those are known as the trivial set so what is a trivial set null and the set itself is known as the trivial set or sometimes it is also known as the improper set and the rest player they are known as uh, which means the other sets the rest players are known as the non trivial set which is you you can also give uh, one more name that is proper set understood so non trivial set or proper set so that's all five types you have understood now it's turn for the examples but before going to the example let me give you a recap super set what is a super set if a is subset of b b is a super set of a right then what is a proper subset if a is subset of b and a and b are not a same then only what a is a proper subset of b so important a and b should not be same universal set is universe grandfather god trivial and non trivial set in the uh, subset uh, domain if you have null and the set itself then trivial other sets are known as non trivial okay so trivials are improper sets non trivial is proper set what is a power set suppose i give you a set c then the power set is 2 to the power n where n is the number of elements in c and to get that 2 to the power n uh, number of subsets start with the singleton then double then triple then four so on and so forth this is how you can get the answer of the power set symbol is what p of b this is known as power set of b so all the possible combinations okay now coming to the examples example 1 suppose uh, a is a set which has element set 1, 2 3 4 5 b is a set which has elements 1 2 3 4 5 tell me true or false on this phi question one is a subset of b is it true or is it false sir it is false why it is false because element element cannot be cannot be set right one is not set itself element cannot be set right now what about this thing one belongs to b set b is here can i say one belongs to b means element one is present in set b yes element one is a present in set b therefore one belongs to b always remember that element belongs to a set so this is true this is true what about this thing this is subset question so for subset question i have a trick what is the trick remove the curly brackets and now check whether this element is present in this set if yes then whatever is given is a subset if not then whatever is given is not a subset let me repeat the trick what is the trick they were asking me set 1 comma 2 is a subset of a what i told you the trick is remove the curly brackets only the one curly bracket okay there can be multiple curly bracket so only remove the one curly bracket and then check whether this element is present in the set a or not if it is present then yes subset if not then not a subset then we can see that uh, 1, 2 element is not there instead we have set 1, 2 in a we do not have element 1, 2 we have set 1, 2 therefore element 1, 2 is not 
present in set A. Therefore, this thing is not a subset. Therefore, it is false. Understood? Now, it would be very much clear if I solve the question number four. See carefully. You tell me whether this is true or false. They are asking about the subset. What I told you: remove the curly bracket only one time. The external curly bracket only one time. and then now check whether this element is present in set a or not if yes then whatever they are saying is true if not then whatever they are saying is false so definitely set 1 comma 2 is a present in a set 1 comma 2 is present in a so this thing is true understood what about this thing again they are asking subset question whether this set is a subset of a or not if you see carefully remove this curly brackets and now check whether this thing is the element of a no this is b this is a so yes this thing this thing yes same to same therefore this players are element of a and therefore we can say subset is valid this is true or you may even say in this way that the complete thing is a so this complete thing is a so a is subset of a as per the important note given in the slide this is always true that a set is a subset of itself always null set is subset of any set always right so this thing you have to make a note understood the first question first question i went very slow because belongs to and subset belongs to already explained in the first class subset trick i gave you what was the trick the trick the trick here was remove the curly brackets and then check the elements are present in the set or not if yes then whatever they are saying about subset is true if not then not true okay if you understood this trick uh, very very minutely then tell me answers on example 2 we have two set s and r you have to comment on this whether they are true or false let us go step by step okay i should uh, say in this way pause the video try by yourself and then look at my solution okay let us see the solution the very first thing they are asking about belongs to so element this thing belongs to s now this is actually not an element it is a set okay no problem so set belongs to s first we have s the elements are 2 a set 3 and 4 so set a is not there element a was there therefore we are going to say this player is not there in this set therefore it is false but if you see this thing then this player is present in r correct set a is behaving as element this is element 1 this is element 2 this is element 3 this is element 4 right so set a is behaving as one of the element in r so set a is behaving as element in r so it belongs to r right this element belongs to r this is true easy now you are getting it very easy topic no need of confusion okay now talk uh, about the subsets okay now see carefully a comma 4 comma this thing so bracket is a subset whenever subset is there what i told you remove the external curly brackets now check whether this element belongs to s or not if yes then whatever they are saying is true so s is where s is here then a it is there four it is there set three it is there so yes all these elements are present in s therefore we are going to say that this is true this set is a subset of s this is true what about this thing they are talking about now proper subset this set is a proper subset of r okay first of all we will check whether this is r or not actually it is equal to r oh no so here this is r is a subset of r which is false in a proper subset uh, r should not be equal to r right lhs set should not be equal to rhs set so it is false proper subset it won't happen if they were saying that it is a subset then yes every set is a subset of itself we have no issue then we would say it is true but here it is false understood why this is false now coming to r equal to s whether we can say r and s are same it looks like 2a 3 4 2a 3 4 oh there is no 2 here so yes definitely here also it is wrong so it is false suppose i gave 2 here then is it true 
that are equal to s some student will say yes it is true no it is false again because here the element is set a and here the element is just a so they are not the same set a is different a is different so are not equal to s in that case also understanding now coming to this thing that uh, set uh, a is a subset of s can we say remove curly bracket a element belongs to s a element yes belongs to s therefore this is true now it is very easy i know you can solve it what about this thing remove the curly bracket element a belongs to r element a belongs to r no set a belongs to r element a doesn't belong to r set a belongs to r so this is false understood if yes let us go to some uh, uh, weirdest and difficult questions student feel like but i don't feel it is very difficult let us see how many students can solve pause the video try look at my solution okay the first question is uh, whether this is true or false again true or false mm, phi belongs to set phi which means this is the element of this set definitely okay we can see element here yes this is true phi belongs to this set which means phi is the element of this set so can you see this player in this set yes here it is present this is not equal to this thing this is uh, see carefully this thing is phi so here it is phi but here it is set phi so set phi and phi are not same phi and phi are only same so definitely we are going to say phi is the element of this set so this is also true what about this thing uh this thing is not uh, true it seems like it is true but it is not why because this is set phi and the element in this set is only phi so set phi and phi are not same right why it was false because okay because set phi is not equal to phi right therefore we are going to say that this element does not belong to this set it is false set phi belongs to this set definitely set phi is the element and this set this set also has set phi as the element therefore it is true what about the uh, proper proper subset okay so proper subset first of all this set this set are they same no they are different okay now can i say that uh, element of this set is present here okay so for that i have told you that uh, remove the curly bracket and check what is the element phi phi present here yes therefore su proper subset we can say therefore this is true okay no issue in this i guess this part is very much clear but this thing is very interesting because again proper subset they are asking but if you see carefully repetition repetition so this is what lhs part is set set phi sub uh, proper subset and rh is also what start your set and again repetition if i ignore okay this two are repeated so if i ignore then this is what it is looking it's like uh, a is a proper subset of a which is false a is a proper subset of a is not true a is a subset of a but a equal to a happened whenever a equal to a happened then proper subset we cannot say lhs set should not be equal to rhs set that was the very key criteria in the proper subset right therefore the last one was incorrect it is false and i hope now you got the idea if yes uh, then let us go to the next example find power sets a is equal to set has this element a comma set b so can you find the power set power set is what uh, 2 to the power n so if i check here 2 to the power how many element 1 and 2 so 2 to the power 2 there should be four number of subset so what are those four number of subset then uh, i should say phi is always subset of every set and then singleton sets are this a and then this element in a set form so set of set b okay because we are writing all the subset so when you write subset this is how it is written and then the mat, uh, the set itself okay so set a comma set b right so this are the four subset of the given set what about this player 
if b is given then uh, tell me the power set of b again the formula is same to the power number of elements in this b set which is 2 so 4 you should get uh, so first thing is phi null set is always set of any set a null set is a subset of any set so this is done now singleton set uh, this element in set this element in set and then comes the mat uh, i am always saying matrix i do not know why but here i should say the set itself right the given set itself so set 1 comma 5 these are the four number of subset for the set b easy uh, not so difficult i told you very easy concept just you have to stay focused okay i have one more critical problem let us see p of p of phi now tell me the number of subset and uh, what is that set how it looks like now first of all you try this question by yourself it looks simple but it is not easy not all simple looking things are easy in life remember that okay let me show you the solution they are asking us power set of power set of phi let us start with inside player power set of phi what does this mean power set of this set right in previous also we have seen that a was the set and they were asking power set of this set so we told that a is like this which has two elements therefore to the power 2 4 number of subset we are going to get so we told further that null set singleton set and the uh, set itself right so now you tell me same concept here can i say power set of this set which is nothing but uh, power set of what is a null set empty set with no element if no element number of element is 0 number of subset is 2 to the power n which is 2 to the power 0 which is 1 so what is that one set you are going to get null set yes so the power set of this set is this thing null set understanding always remember we write power set in this form only we start our brackets and then we write all the subset inside it if you see carefully what we have done here same thing power set started with the curly bracket and all the subset we have written started with the curly bracket all the subset we have written yes or no yes and if i missed uh, somewhere that notation let me make it clear power sets are written in what way we start with this then we end with this okay let me do a big bracket only start with this and end with this this is very important notation start the curly bracket write all the subsets with commas and then close the curly bracket same thing we have done here start the curly bracket then write the number of subset close the curly bracket now this thing is done now focus on what we need we need a p of p of 5 okay so this thing we have found which is equal to set 5 substitute that so if i substitute this is how the things look like now tell me power set of this set how many elements are there here don't say zero we can see one element which is phi so n is one so to the power n is to the power one which is two so the power set of this set would be we are going to get two set start the curly bracket and the curly bracket and write the number of subset null set is a subset of every set so that is the answer and this set itself that's all so this is your final answer i hope you understood this very critical problem p of p of phi and uh, yes power sets are done then we have understood everything i guess there is no issue now about any question or any topic and uh, yes uh, that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the subset class